As I'm smelling his cologne, it was a very good conversation. And so at that moment, I decided, you know what, f*** this. You are overdue on fucking intimacy, love, and everything else. Because at this point, um, I was done with my husband. Didn't care what the f*** people thought about me. Didn't give zero f*** whatsoever. And so, you know what, I hung out with this tall, beautiful black man and I had the best time of my life and I swear like um, when I was with him it for me it just I felt like I freed myself I felt like I was trapped somewhere and I know that you know mentally you're trapped but sometimes some good sex can bring you out of that and wake you the up like wake the up and that was a moment where I woke the up and I knew that I deserve love I deserve affection. I deserve good intellectual conversation. I deserve a man that f smells good, no salt taste. I deserve it the f all. And that's when I cheated on my narcissistic husband. Oh, so he's a narcissist now. So many things wrong with that whole with that whole thing. So this is a climax that we was looking for. And um, yeah, I was right. It's all downhill. Now, I don't know what happened with you guys <laughs> with this relationship, but I'm pretty sure cheating wasn't the way. Cause you didn't, cause you didn't say he cheated or anything like that beforehand. You just said that he was treating you bad. I don't know if this was a role or a way for you to slip and fall on some peen. I don't, uh, but you look like you want to say I something. I do. Huh? First of all, I'm going to start with, this was the moment that you realized that you deserved love and intimacy and everything. Why did it take you traveling all the way to Mexico, running into some random man at a hotel while your husband was treating you bad to realize that you deserve love and intimacy and intellectual conversation and all of these things. That goes back to there is an issue with your self-esteem and there is a part of you that needs to heal from whatever it is that's going on, from whatever it is that happened in the past, from whatever it is that's going on in your marriage. You are not healed. If this is the moment in time, you look about my age, okay? If it took you 30-some odd years, 20-some odd years to realize that you deserved to be loved, that you de deserved intimacy, that you deserve someone who loves you back. I don't understand. I, I do. Let me not say I don't understand because I, I understand to an extent. I do understand that that many, many women have issues with self-esteem. And a lot of us don't like to admit that. We like to pretend that you have it all together. And the reality of the situation is that you don't, because if you did, you wouldn't continue to stay in situations that that serve no purpose to you that don't grow you that don't help develop you that that only hinder you so so there's that issue on top of that y'all y'all gonna get mad because you know sexual freedom and all that you just met this man yeah this is reckless you don't know him but hey you don't know where he got he could have been a sociopathic serial killer he he could have all kinds of stds stis you don't know stop just sleeping with people you don't know. That's why we got all these new venereal diseases going around and it ain't no cure for them, okay? Stop. It's nasty, okay? And it's unhealthy. And y'all can get mad all you want. You, Your body deserves more self-respect than for you to go and spread your legs for some random man that you do not know. That, that you just met 10 minutes ago. I don't care if you knew him a week, okay? That's not long enough to vet somebody and be like, come on, come inside of my body. Enter into me. And let's exchange bodily fluids and soul ties and everything else that comes along with it. You, that whole saying to get over one man, get under another one is stupid. Okay, we need to throw it out the window. Get over one man if that's what you need by healing yourself. Fixing what is broken in you so that you can move on to whatever there is to come. This is not it. It's 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 not it. It's not. This is a bad decision. Okay? It's bad. Yeah. Um, I just 
it's this whole situation up to this point is weird because I, I felt like it was going to build up to this point when I was watching it the first time. I, I wasn't expecting I, this. I, I felt some form of cheating coming along. But what's weird about this is the fact that if if men were to come together and get online and start telling how they felt unloved and their wife treated them like garbage, treated them like a child and, you know, had all these terrible tones when they spoke to them and all this kind of stuff. And then they start saying, and, you know, I ran into this baddie, you know, she had a fat, you know, all this stuff. And she, she smelled nice. And she smelled nice. You know, she looked good and she was nice to me. That's how, and when I knew that I deserved some yams. That's how I knew that I deserved love and affection. My wife only sleep with me once or twice every month, maybe four times if I'm lucky. And I got this new young thing right here. Might as well go ahead and smash. If men start telling stories like this, uproar. Because men already wear the crown of cheating, according to every one media articles, all this stuff. Um, I don't understand how you're comfortable enough to be like, oh, well, you know, I was treated kind of badly. I was treated pretty badly during my marriage or on in this particular section of my marriage. I don't understand how you would feel comfortable be like, so, you know, I cheated. It was great. I had the best time of my life and people be so welcoming to it. That's something only women can do. That's crazy to me because I don't, I don't even know. Now, would you, if, if a man stepped out and start having, start having these types of conversations and start telling these types of stories, would you have some men up in the comments? I was like, yes, King, and all this kind of stuff. You dropped your crown and all. Yeah, of course, you'll have some. But mm, I don't I, I don't think a lot of men would be, at least publicly, standing for something like this. Agreeing and saying, yeah, you should have cheated, bro. Unless it comes out and he tells a story that, you know, she was cheating on me first and all this kind of stuff. Then, yeah, I would see a lot of men doing this. But if you're saying Not that, even huh? Not even then. I don't think. I, I think, I think they would if they were cheating, but I think a good amount of them would say, bro, you just leave. Why are you still in a relationship with her? Like if she cheated on you the first time, why in the world would you still be there? You know? So yeah, I, I don't know about this one. I, 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 I Actually, I do know about this one. I think this was a, a bad decision. Um, it seems like, and I talked about this on one of my previous videos on TikTok. Um, we're in we're in this phase of life, and I don't know how long we've been here. I don't know if it's just our generation or what, but we are placing our our we, we place pleasure in the number one priority spot, <laughs> and that is over. Logical decision making skills. She all all <laughs> safety measures were thrown out the window. Like I I don't. Uh, yeah, I. You got anything? Foreign else? country, <laughs> foreign hotel. Maybe he was don't American. Speak the language, <laughs> even if he was American. Yeah, he could have killed you. Your husband could have killed you. He could have sold you off to the cartel. Yeah. Sex traffic. Now you're just being rude because I'm not just, gonna just saying assume that this man was going to do all this stuff. I mean, we don't but know. But you him. can't just assume that she was safe in this situation. No, no, no. Either. I'm not. I'm not assuming. I'm, that she was I'm safe. just saying there is a number of things that could have gone horribly wrong. Yeah. Horribly wrong. 100 percent. Not to mention. You could be harboring a stowaway after this trip. Correct. STDs are not just diseases. They're sexually transmitted dependence. And, 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 and listen, <laughs> now you got a whole nother baby with some dude that you just... Anyway, yeah. If you don't have anything else, I think it's time to move to the next part. That's all I got. All right. Peace. Night. <laughs>